you get, flour. So hi, it's uh, Paul Hoover, Stillwater Vineyards. Um, this week in the vineyard, middle June, a little toasty. So as I promised last week, um, we're going to talk about leafing today, and I'm going to show you mechanically how we do it. It's called canopy management. So why do we manage the canopy? Because too little canopy doesn't have enough um, leaves to create fruitfulness. Um, too big a canopy creates shade, which is what's happening at the end of the row here. The reason these canes are growing so tall here is they get extra nutrients because of the end of the row. And then this is the fruit zone. Um, so I'm gonna actually do a little bit of what the machine's gonna do. And this is the way we did it for many years. You, there's 50,000 vines out here and you'd send people through and they would expose this fruit zone. Um, and we want what we call a dappling. And the dappling means some are getting shade. You don't want full exposure. So this is the morning side. The sun's right there. It's about 1030 right now. If I look over here, this is the afternoon side and it's all shady right now. And we don't do that on this side because if the sun at three o'clock in the afternoon shines right down here, then it's a hundred degrees. So we like the sun side, which in this case is the west side of our vineyard to be covered up and protected. But we like the morning side to get exposure because in another hour and a half, this will be shade, okay? So the, so the reasons why we do this, fruitfulness of the berries, we toughen them up now when they're green so that they don't uh, skin sunburn, skin burn um, later in the season. So we want them to get a little bit of this exposure. We want them to get this exposure in June rather than July 10th when it might be 105 degrees. So timing is important. The berries have to be big enough so this machine doesn't do it. The other reason we open the canopy is what it's referring to. Insects and disease like shade. And so if we expose this to both the wind and the sun, then, and you can see here's an example, here's a little leaf hopper that's been chewing away on that guy right there. And that's not terrible, but if we make this fruit zone less desirable area to hang out, it makes it a neighborhood of where the insects really don't wanna be. And then they wanna be up here further in the canopy. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how we do it with the machine. So this machine is extremely noisy and somewhat dangerous. So I'm not gonna have you here while it's running, but these are called the rollers. And to demonstrate what the rollers do is we push this into the canopy and then the leaves run into this roller and then they're shredded inside and blown out the front. The other thing that happens is this is a cane cutter. So if I point right down here, these canes and these canes are not where we want them. So that cane cutter in front of the roller cuts these canes and then the roller rolls in here and takes these leaves off. Um, saves a tremendous amount of money, about $20,000 to do the vineyard by hand. One of my biggest theories is um, great wine, right time. And so this week is the ideal time to do this. If we did it too soon, then these berries would get broken and fall off. If we do it too late, then they get sunburnt. So the machine enables me to do the whole vineyard in three days compared to probably 20 people for over a week and a half. You can see what that machine does, basically like giving old Paul a haircut. So we will occasionally lose a cluster, cluster if it's out on a cane. So if a cluster is on this cane and the cane's in the wrong position, but it actually takes the leaves off and pushes the berries out of the way. So pretty amazing that you can get that technology. This is called a Clemens um, pre-pruner. That's actually just about perfect. We call this the catch wire, which I taught you below the catch wire. All that fruit's opened up. And if I look here on the ground, um, I'd have to walk quite a while to find any berries. Um, and if the berry was taken off, it was probably in the wrong place. So this is what I get to do for the next week. Drive the tractor, but it's air conditioned, the music's on. 
So be sure we're open now. Come on out to the tasting room. Make a reservation on stillwatervineyards.com, the visit us tab. Love to see you out here soon.